Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're gonna analyze the Bitcoin price as usual and also compare it to the DXY. So before we start, a little reminder, the whole month of October, you can get some free extra bonus over on Bybit. If you sign up with my link that you find down below here in the video description and also deposit at least 0.1 Bitcoin, you can get this bony here extra next to the rewards hub. So you just have to put this voucher code here, Alessandro the Crypto here in the rewards hub. And then instantly, if you put a deposit, you can get this extra reward rewards next to this 90 dollars that you anyway get here through Bybit and also a little reminder regarding to the recommended exchanges where to buy Bitcoin with fiat especially if you're new in the crypto space make sure to use Coinbase and Swissborg to open up an account and also buy some cryptos if you're new in the space those exchanges are very much recommended and also here is where you can get the most bonus because if you for example open up an account over on coinbase with the link that you find down below here in the video description you will get with your first buying of 100 dollars worth of cryptos ten dollars for free and also on the swiss borg depending how much you're gonna buy at the beginning so depending how high is gonna be your first deposit here on the swiss borg exchange you're gonna get up to 100 euro completely for free here on the app and with that money you can immediately buy some more cryptos or also withdraw of course but definitely go and try out swiss borg and coinbase Currently, I'm also using Swissborg. The only difference is that Swissborg is only in the mobile phone. So you don't have a browser like on Coinbase where you can do everything also on your computer. So you need a mobile phone in order to buy and sell through Swissborg. They have a very nice and easy app and also they have very, very low fees. And also with Swissborg, you don't have to check all the exchanges where you get the cheaper price because this app is gonna select automatically where is the cheapest place to buy Bitcoin at the moment that you want to buy some so this is a great unique feature only that Swissborg is offering to you so definitely try out Swissborg if you don't know this company already it's a Swiss based company so definitely go and sign up to Swissborg as well it doesn't cost you anything everything is for free but if you put at least a deposit of 50 euro or equivalent in any cryptocurrencies you can get up to 100 euro completely for free here with Swiss Borg. So if you're interested, just make sure to use the link that you find down below here and also put at least a 50 euro deposit on it. All right, my friends, and now we can start with the content. We start now with the one hour time frame. And if we have a look quickly here, also into the CME chart, you can see that we still have this little future gap opened here at $11,100. So there is still a high risk that we first come down here to close this gap before we maybe continue to go higher. The problem is only that in the daily time frame, it looks like that we maybe see a reversal pretty soon, but we still have a lot of room left to the upside, especially watching here at the low time frames and also if you look here into the CME chart you can see that there is still a high chance that we could create here a head and shoulders pattern we have the left shoulder the head and the right shoulder which right now is progressing so let's see if this maybe is gonna play out and will bring us to our target here at eleven thousand one hundred dollar to close the gap and then potentially have a big bounce from it this is at least what I'm expecting here in the next couple of hours incoming but if we switch over into the spot market you can see that currently we are creating this upwards trending channel which of course is bullish but this also could end up in a rising wedge which of course is bearish and they tend to break out to the downside so let's see if we can keep up here with the support of currently eleven thousand four hundred dollar we are creating higher lows and higher highs in a one hour time frame so in theory right now if we see a big push to the upside the target would be at least here in the next couple of hours eleven thousand eight hundred sixty dollar 
if we are not able to reach this target here in the next couple of hours if we're gonna see here a push to the upside and also take out this high here at 11,730 then I think we could see very soon here a breakout to the downside potentially to test the 200 moving average here at 11,100 dollar which is also coinciding with our previous support resistance and also where our current future gap is lining up RSI right now is flat and also I got a buy signal right now so in theory we should see here a bounce to the upside potentially to 11,860 and also if we have a look into the Bollinger Band you can see that we're squeezing again in this tiny channel between 11,470 and 11,360. We have currently KSD and MACD which are looking a bit oversold so here we could see in theory a big bounce to the upside so KSD is also neutral and currently we are also testing here the midline of the Bollinger Band. So I'm expecting here in the next couple of hours a possible push here towards $11,800. If this push to the upside will not sustain and also maybe we're not even able to take out this high that we created here at $11,730, then I think we will see pretty soon here a breakout to the downside and probably this gap filling will come very soon. And if we compare now to the DXY, you can see that the DXY had a very nice pump here. We now are trading above all the moving averages and we also created this support here at the 200 moving average currently at 93. 50. In my own indicator I got here a sell signal but I think we still have some room left to the upside here to potentially retest this resistance area here of around $94 and of course this could lead into a possible little dump towards $11,100 in the Bitcoin price. So we have to keep an eye what the DXY is doing because in my opinion here we are also gearing up for a possible big retest of this $94 which of course is the last resistance before a potential big spike up towards the 200 daily moving average here in the DXY and this will lead of course into a big crash in the stock market and also in the Bitcoin price. So we have to keep an eye also what the DXY is doing. And now let's switch over into the four hour time frame because Bitcoin currently is trading right at the 20 moving average. And also here you can see that this is perfectly coinciding with our current support. If we are able to bounce from here, we should reach this target of 11,860 pretty soon. But if we're gonna start to close our or four hour candles below this 11,370, then be prepared to see a correction at least towards this $11,100. This is also coinciding here with the 50 moving average and also with our CME gap. The RSI currently is cooling off down to the 50 level. This is what we want to see for a healthy correction. But right now we also should see a big bounce to the upside. So if we are losing the support and also the 50 level in the RSI, we could see here continuation to the downside and also if we have a look into the Bollinger Band you can see that currently we're right in the middle so we are in a critical point and any kind of four hour close below 11,400 I think we lead into this correction down towards $11,100. We have stochastic oversold so we should see a bounce right now. The problem here is only that the MACD and KSD are still shifted to the downside so the momentum could be now shifted to the downside and of course the target here is to reach at least 11,100. And if we have a look into the DXY here in the four hour, you can see that currently we are pushing to the upside. We still have a lot of room left after we got here a buy signal. And you can see that now also we have all the moving averages below of us. So in theory here, we should see continuation to the upside in the DXY and the opposite in the Bitcoin price. And that's why I think most likely this support is going to be broken very, very soon. I wouldn't bet with a short right now. I'm not shorting. I don't have a trade opened right now here on Bybit. But if I would enter a trade right now, probably it would be a short position, especially if we're going to see here in the next couple of hours an attempt here to push higher and we will not take out here this high of 11,700. 30. But this is really just here for the low time frames. And if we now head over into the daily time frame, if we zoom out here a bit, you can see that currently we are in this rising channel here, which of course is a bullish pattern, unless this is going to be a big rising wedge. But at the moment, it's just a channel that is trending here to the upside. And we are creating day by day higher lows and higher highs. And this is, of course, what we want to see during a bull run. The good thing here is also that we have the 20 and 50 
daily moving average here within our support area currently at around eleven thousand dollar down to ten thousand eight hundred dollar rsi is looking a bit toppy here but also here we have a lot of room left to the upside and my target here to reach thirteen thousand eight hundred dollars in the next couple of days or weeks is still in the cards and still very likely hopefully we're gonna reach it very soon because the problem is that in my own indicator we are looking a bit exhausted here so if we are not able to push here in the next couple of days or weeks towards thirteen thousand eight hundred dollar i think this could trigger potential sell signal and bring us again here towards the support or maybe even drop lower towards the 200 daily moving average which right now is lining up here at nine thousand seven hundred dollars so i'm keeping an eye also here in the daily time frame what my own indicator is telling because we still have the momentum shifted to the upside and in theory the target could be up here at thirteen thousand eight hundred but if here we are getting a confirmed sell signal this could initiate here some weakness and also some pressure to the downside so that's why i think we have to keep a very close eye here what the daily time frame is telling us because this could be very relevant for a nice big trade here because if we would get now a sell signal in this support range down here for around eleven thousand dollar i think this could be also a false signal because we still have a lot of room left to the upside and trying to short here the support is always a risky thing but if we first are able to pump here towards this fourteen thousand dollars and there maybe we're gonna have a local top and at the same time a sell signal then i think this could be a great opportunity to maybe scale in a little short position Position to write it down to the previous support and like this you would have done a very nice trade with a great entry but if you're trying to short right now here right in the middle or more towards the support of this channel i think this is very risky and i definitely don't recommend to do so but we have to see what is going to happen here in the next couple of days i think even though in the lower time frames we could maybe see a week or this gap filling down to eleven thousand one hundred dollar we most likely gonna start an attempt here to test here this 14k area and also if we have a look into the bollinger band you can see that currently we are retracing towards here the middle line between 11,150 and 10,900 dollar after overshooting the bollinger bands for approximately six days we have macd and ksd still shifted to the upside which is very bullish stochastic now is overbought and also shifted to the downside so that's why i think there is a very high chance that we're gonna have a retest of these two moving averages here at least towards 11,100, maybe even towards 10,800 to 10,900 before we're gearing up for a possible 14k tests so in the next couple of days i think it's going to be very interesting to see what the price is going to do especially if we have now this retest of this eleven thousand one hundred dollar potentially and then maybe gear up for a big move towards 14k because i still think 14k is very likely before maybe we're going to see a major correction to retest all supports and also if we go over into the dxy you can see that currently we are in a very critical point we are facing here this resistance at around 94 dollars only if here the dxy would push higher so higher than 94 potentially to reach here the 200 daily moving average at 97 dollars then i think this will lead into a big correction in the bitcoin price and the likelihood of this scenario is in my opinion increasing since the dxy recovered immediately straight back up here above the 50 and 20 daily moving average after we had here this fake out close below these moving averages because once we dropped below immediately we came back up again so we didn't confirm that this is now the new resistance and that's why i think here the dxy has still some room left to the upside but don't forget that the dxy is still in a bear market so even though we will see potentially this big push towards the 200 daily moving average we will most likely get rejected somewhere there and then continue here the bear trend to the downside but this of course could be a perfect buy opportunity in the bitcoin price and now let's go back to the bitcoin chart and open up also the weekly time frame because here we are still trading above the 20 weekly moving average which of course is very bullish and also here you can see the clear trend here after breaking this 10k resistance that we are creating always higher lows and higher highs and this is what we want to see during a bull run of course there is still a high chance that we maybe could wick below here 
here or have a breakout to the downside but this support area down here at around 9k should in theory help the price and also you can see that the 200 weekly moving average slowly is coming up here more and more towards the support here and currently it's lining up perfectly at seven thousand dollar so if we have really the worst case scenario i think seven thousand dollar will be really the last resort of support so i don't think that we will see bitcoin ever again below the 200 weekly moving average so below seven thousand dollar i will definitely start to scale in again all everything i can back into bitcoin starting here from 9k if we have such a drop because there is still a high chance that we could maybe wick below the 20 weekly moving average which is lining up here perfectly with our support line but if we would do so then this would be really just for the low to mid term for the long term we are remaining still very bullish and this is really just the beginning of a major bull run and you definitely should start to think about to buy some bitcoin if you don't own at least one bitcoin right now because this could be really the last opportunity for everyone that can buy one single bitcoin because what i think is that in the future in the next couple of years only some people will be able to buy one single Bitcoin. At the moment, most of the people are able to buy one Bitcoin, but in the future, the price will be so high that only maybe institutions or rich people can afford to buy one single Bitcoin. Because don't forget, we have very limited supply and a very high demand that is increasing day by day, especially if you look at the financial system during this pandemic. And now let's also have a look into the Bollinger Band in the weekly time frame because here after closing successfully above $11,000 we are starting this run potentially here towards $12,400 but as I told you my friends if we are able to push higher here and also take out this high that we created here at 12,500, the target would be at around $13,800 so at around $14,000 dollar per bitcoin and that's why i think it is very likely that with this move we're gonna reach this potential higher high and after that maybe see a correction towards ten thousand dollar again but at the moment the momentum is clearly shifted to the upside we have of course some warning signs but overall already now starting to accumulate as much bitcoins as possible and also maybe scale in some nice longs with low leverage is definitely not a bad idea so if you're planning to buy big stacks of Bitcoin, it's still not too late. Don't wait for prices below 9 or 8K. Start already now to DCA into Bitcoin. You will not regret it. Of course, it's never good to go all in, but at least if you're starting to DCA already now, you will definitely not miss out the boat. And with that said, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. If you like the content, make sure to moon up the likes, also subscribe to the channel, very important. And feel free also to join my Discord trading chat. You find the link down below here in the video description and also my channel over on Twitch. You find all the links here in the video description, very useful. And with the most of them, you can also get some free rewards that you can use to buy even more cryptos so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye